everybody. This is Dr. Dalton from Hamlet Chiropractic, and I'm very excited today because I'm back in St. Louis with my BFF, <laughs> Chef Carl. Hi, Ron. <laughs> Did you miss me? Uh, always. I absolutely. Knew, I, you know, I missed you too. You know why I missed you? Because you always made me really good food. <laughs> so, so we're here. We've been having a good time this weekend, and we decided we're going to make a few more videos for you guys. Now, what I wanted to do this time was I wanted to spend some time focusing on vegetables. And I was talking to Carl about this before we decided to make these videos. And I was telling him that the big thing that I hear from patients all the time is that the one thing they struggle the most with in their diets is getting enough fruits and vegetables. In. And that's understandable. A lot of people don't like the way that they taste. It's hard sometimes to know how to cook them or what to do with them to make them more edible uh, and to make sure that you're getting them into your daily diet. So I asked him, I said, do you have any recipes that you can share with everybody to make this a little bit easier for us? And he rambled off a list <laughs> of a, a ton of different things, things that I had never even heard of, never even thought about doing with fruits and vegetables. Because you know, you know me, you guys, I'm pretty simple in the kitchen. And uh, so he's gonna share some uh, recipes with us and teach us how to do some things with vegetables that are incredibly healthy for you. You can add these into your daily diet with whatever else it is that you're eating, and it's gonna make this a lot easier for you. So, all right, Carl, so what are we starting with today? What's the first thing? So if you haven't seen this contraption before, uh, have you seen this before, Ryan? I have not seen that so this is So this is called a spiralizer, and they really got big uh, a year or so, a couple years ago. Um, I picked this one up about last year, I think, and have been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, this has really changed the way people can get their vegetables in because there's so many things you can do with it. Uh, you, uh, my spiralizer actually comes with uh, three different blade choices. So there's different cuts that you can make with uh, the spiralizer based on the blade you choose. So I kind of have the medium spiralizer blade in right now. And so what we're going to make with this today is a spiralized um, squash, zucchini um, and squash, and a carrot. And we're gonna do some, a little bit of warm spices, not necessarily hot spicy, but more Moroccan spice. Um, simple saute, something super, super quick and easy, and definitely something you can do less than 10 minutes. And it's, and it's something you can even prep ahead if you wanted to. So, and this is the finished dish, um, garnished with a little bit of fresh parsley. And um, so it's been really fun and it smells really good in here, by the way. Yeah, it smells so, amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and, and demonstrate how this works. So you can put this on a suction type cup of a, of a countertop if you want to, but I have just enough luck holding the base with my hand as I use my right hand to, to turn the machine. So I've already trimmed um, the top end and the bottom end of my squash and I cut it in half. Um, it's just easier to work with these pieces if you kind of cut them down versus if I would have tried to put the whole like this zucchini in all at once it, it gets a little wonky when it's that long so I would have cut that in half so in this case I'm going to go ahead there's a little blade it's round um, and just caution when you're using this because the parts are sharp um, especially when cleaning but I'm going to go ahead and put my um, end of the vegetable and I'm going to get it in the center where this round um, uh, cut is right here the blade and I'm just going to press it in and try to make sure that it's in the mo in the center as best as I can and then I'm going to push this to the back and these little teeth here will grip the bottom of the squash and then again I put my hand here firmly and then I just push with my right the dogs are excited too can you tell <laughs> They didn't embark when I was practicing it, but now they know they're on camera. So, and this is what you get. You get this great little spiralized uh, vegetable. And you could do this with, again, carrots, parsnips, turnips, uh, apples, all kinds of different things. Oh, even apples? Yeah, I've done it wow. with apple. Yeah, there, this spiral, this cut here will just give you real fine little, little ribbons, and you can oh, do wow. different things with it. Um, you could, again, saute them, you could dry them in the oven if you wanted to, or it's just another fun way to eat an apple if you have a hard time getting your, your fruits in. So after I spiralized my zucchini, my squash, and my carrot, I had some uh, butter on the stove warming and melting, and you could even use olive oil. If you felt like doing that versus the butter, that's perfectly fine. Um, you could, if you're really trying to watch the fat intake, you could use a very limited amount of oil too, and you could use some spray. 
but in a hot skillet, um, I just added like a table, a teaspoon of so, a couple of cloves of garlic, minced. Um, I had my fat in there, which in this case was the butter. I had a little, about a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of coriander, a little bit of cayenne, but I don't mind some heat, so there might be a little more than um, a, maybe like a quarter teaspoon or um, an eighth of a teaspoon of, of, of cayenne in there. And then once those spices were kind of toasted and warmed with the butter, I just simply added in my, um, my noodles and quickly tossed it. Uh, the thing you want to remember when you deal with the spiralized um, zucchini and squash is to salt it at the end. Um, we all know that salt dries out the moisture and the moisture is already going to start to seep out of the vegetable after it's cut. So you just want to make sure not to salt it at the beginning, otherwise um, your finished product would have been a lot more mushy. But as you can tell, um, this is still nice and firm and it's, and it's still kind of folding up really well. And there's a nice sauce in the bottom of the bowl that you could kind of still dress, you know, kind of dress the noodles with to keep that flavor profile going. Um, Sometimes to just get ahead of the game, I've spiralized my vegetables before I go to work mm -hmm. and I just have it in a, 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 a either a plastic container or a, a storage bag, things like that. I don't put anything on it. I just have them in there. I don't do it too much ahead of time, maybe the night before, but then it's just nice if I want to come home. This part's already done and I've already like cleaned my spiralizer and put it away again. So that's just one of those quick tips to have to kind of get ahead to the game. So we all know how hard it is to walk in from work and then try to cook a fresh, healthy meal. But that's one of those tricks that really help, um, kind of help you get that stuff done and you can get your nutrients and your veggies in while you still are, you know, busy with jobs, kids, family, etc. So that's this recipe. It's really, really quick and easy. And you can guide this any way you want. You can change the spices. Sometimes I've just done this with just simple salt and pepper. Um, you could just do whatever you wanted. Yeah, and I like too, the thing I like about this also is that if you didn't want to mess with the spiralizer, nowadays the grocery stores have these vegetables already spiralized yep. for you. Yeah. I've seen it with beets also, which I think would probably be good. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so you have options. Now it's probably more expensive though, wouldn't you say, to buy it that way? Yeah, or... I think it's, you'll save some money doing it yourself, uh, mm -hmm. but I, for convenience sake, you can't beat it. Yeah, but, that's uh, true. You know, this tool, I think was around thirty dollars. Oh, that's so not bad. So it, it pays for itself, you know, mm -hmm. pretty quickly. So you know, one other thing, because you were mentioning spiralizing first and then making it after work or whatever the case may be. How long will these stay good in the fridge <laughs> if you were to spiralize it, or is it not? <laughs> I, I would say maybe overnight. Oh, okay, so you want to make sure you use it right away. Yeah, I, I think the longest I've gone with having this in my container, like ready for me to go, is maybe like two days out. Oh, okay. Um, and, and, and it's not necessarily going to go bad. Um, I think what will happen is we'll just have the water again kind of leach out of the vegetables. I see. So you'll just want to watch it. So if the water starts to seep out, just kind of go ahead and drain it out just so it doesn't sit in that liquid and then it kind of deteriorates the rest of the vegetable. So, okay. but I would say a day or two, you'd be okay. Um, a carrot would last a lot longer. A parsnip, okay. the turnip, that type of thing would last a lot longer than the zucchini and the squash. That I say would have maybe uh, one to two days. Okay. All and right. it also depends too on how fresh it was when you bought them. Sure. Because okay. you know, however much time it had to transition from the farm to the store, kind of a thing. Yeah. So, and how fresh they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's just one recipe that you can do to kind of help out on this topic. We're actually going to make a few videos for you today and get this all done for you. So uh, we will see you on the next video soon.